everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my last decluttering video. It's going to be all about lip products and I know it was probably my most requested one and let me tell you, it was a journey because I have way too many lip products. If you are new to my channel, you might not know, but I do a lot of lip swatches and a lot of lip product comparison. I have a lot of dupe videos coming up, by the way. With that in mind, I end up buying way too many colors. Instead of buying my two or three favorite color in a collection, I will buy the whole collections. I can swatch them all, so hopefully it helps you decide which colors you might want. Or companies will send me the full line, hoping I will have time to swatch them all. So it just accumulates very quickly, but I wanted to try and reduce it to a somewhat more reasonable amount. Obviously, as long as I do YouTube, I will never have a really reasonable amount of makeup, which I'm okay with. Just an FYI, if you don't know, I have to film somewhere that is in my home simply because there's too much construction noise. It's a nightmare. Let's not talk about it. I did bring a box with some of the makeup that is still at home. I'm hoping I didn't miss any. It's totally possible that I did, but we'll go through that box, my uh, IKEA Alex drawers, and then I will put some of the stuff on my desk so you can see it better, but it's a little bit everywhere, so I'm hoping I didn't forget anything. So to try and make it a little bit easier, I set myself a goal to get rid of 50 lip products, which might seem like a lot or not a lot, depending. And I'm hoping to actually get to 100 because that would be even better, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So let's go through this. This is where it becomes a little bit ridiculous. I tried to put as many lipstick as I could on top. Some of them are just represented by like one color because there's no point of like putting all of them on there because I'm keeping them for uh, do video purposes. So I will go through these now and get rid of the ones that I don't need to keep for any reason. So those are my CoverGirl lipsticks. As you can see, I did have all of the colors because I did a full lip swatch video in collaboration with CoverGirl. I'll link that down below if you want. I don't need to keep all of them because first of all, they were swatched and some of them I do keep for uh, do purposes, but some of them I don't need to keep because I'm not a huge fan of frost or pearl finishes. I went through the video, I actually watched my own lip swatch video just to remember which ones I thought I didn't need to keep. So I have some of these right here. Actually, I put them on the side. You might notice like the numbers. That's how I remember which ones I'm not keeping. So all of these ones will be uh, re-owned somewhere else. All of these are either or frost or pearl finishes because I just don't love these. So right away, that's me getting rid of uh, 10, do get this with this, yeah, 10 lipsticks are now out of my collection. I know it's silly, but it kind of bugs me that there's only two right there. Anyway, so those are the ones that I will be keeping, and the ones I'm not keeping will be added to the pile. I do have some bite uh, lipsticks, but most of them are actually at my home, so I don't have them with me. But this specific color is gorgeous, by the way. This is Glessy. But Sephora recently had some of these uh, matte lip crayon like this as a deluxe sample size for 100 print perks, so I grabbed two for future giveaways, so just throwing that out there. Most of these lipsticks I'm going to be keeping. I do have all of the uh, 100 lipstick of the Urban Decay that they sent me, and I did a full lip swatch video. Again, link that down below. Right now I'm not going to get rid of any because I want to be doing some dupe videos, so right now I'm keeping them because they're pretty awesome too. Most of them I really, really love. I'm not getting rid of like basically all of these right now simply because either I got them recently or I'm doing a lip swatch video really soon, etc, etc. So just showing quickly all of these because I'm keeping them for now for those reasons. Those are the Rimmel uh, Nude collection. I really like Rimmel lipsticks. I'm hoping to be able to actually put them with the other Rimmel in a bit. I have some of the Essence lipsticks. Some of them I bought, some of them were sent to me. So I need to uh, collect all the colors so I can do a full lip swatch video on them. By the way, you may be able to see, I have the Kali uh, Jenner lip kit. I'm doing a full lip swatch video really, really soon, actually, during my uh, lip swatch week that's coming up. So obviously keeping that. If you haven't tried any of the uh, Annabelle Lipsies, they're fantastic. They're like the best uh, tinted lip balm I've ever tried. I'm gonna be keeping my uh, Kat Von D liquid lipsticks because those are some of the best, if not the best liquid lipsticks out there. So obviously keeping them. I do wanna do a lip swatch video on the ones that I didn't have when I did the first part. So there's gonna be a part two. Those are the color pops that are still out there, still being sold actually. I'm gonna be keeping the NYX lip lingerie because they're fantastic. Those are the color pop lipsticks that don't sell those colors anymore. Those are, those are four colors of the Colourpop lipsticks that they don't sell anymore and 
Two of them I really want to keep, Corse and uh, Pony, because I really love those colors. But these two have some similar other colors. I know Cake was pretty popular, but I don't know why they don't sell it anymore. And this one, Yasmin, is pretty common. Like, they have a lot of, like, orangey red lipsticks. So these one I'm just going to get rid of. I'm going to give them to friends. But these two other colors I really like and are pretty unique, so I'm going to keep them. I do want to do an updated lip swatch video on the Milani ones. So I'm not going to get rid of them because they're fantastic. I wish Milani was easier to get in Canada. You can find them in a... Uh, Superstores, but yeah, they're fantastic. I really like them. So my favorite one actually isn't even there. It's the matte naked one. I love that one. It's always in my purse, hence why it's not there. But fantastic. A lot of them are actually dupes for MAC lipstick. That's why I'm keeping all of them. So those are some of my Maybelline lipsticks. Those are the Vivids, which I adore. I'm not getting rid of any because I just really, really enjoy them. However, the Rebel Pink, uh, the Rebel Bloom uh, lipsticks, I'm not sure if they were limited edition because I can't find them in store anymore. But online, it seems to still be like on sale, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep uh, my favorite colors. I'm only gonna keep three because I'm trying to be reasonable. Okay, four, um, but I'm gonna pass the other ones along. They are still pretty good, but they're definitely more sheer than the Maybelline like average lipstick. Usually they're very pigmented, but those ones were definitely different. So I'm gonna keep my four favorite ones, which is Peach Poppy, Coral Burst, I have Lilac Flush, which I like, <laughs> Lilac Lipsticks, and this one, which is Orchid Ecstasy. All the other ones, I'm gonna re -own. If you can still find them, I would recommend watching the lip swatch video because some of them are pretty white base. All the other ones, they're the creamy mattes, uh, some of the nude range, one of the normal range, but all the other ones, even these ones, the bolds and the creamy mattes are just some of my all-time favorite lipstick from drugstore. So obviously I'm going to keep them. Again, a lot of dupes for high-end lipsticks, so obviously keeping those. Then we have those uh, CoverGirl Outlast lipstick. Those are fantastic. I don't know why nobody talks about them, but I'm going to be raving about them enough for everyone. I think the only color I wouldn't wear that much would probably be this one, which is a... Uh, 950. This one has somewhat of a frost to it, so I think I'm gonna pass this to French. She might like this more than me, but otherwise I'm keeping the other ones because I really, really enjoy them. Just trying to be somewhat reasonable. I'm gonna keep the uh, NYX set because I haven't swatched them yet. Uh, liquid lipsticks, there's not that many that I wanna get rid of, to be honest, because I wanna do, again, more uh, do videos, so I'm going to keep my Anastasia and Stila lipsticks. Then we have my beloved uh, Rimmel lipsticks. I really enjoy Rimmel. I feel like they deserve so much more hype than this. The only ones I think I'm going to get rid of are, are some of these older ones like this. Do they even have still that packaging? I'm not sure. Uh, those were the Moisture Renew lipsticks. I had like Pink Blush, which I used to hate these type of medium pink on me, but I would still buy them hoping to like them. I don't hate it anymore, but it's just not, I don't reach for it. The other one is New Delight, which I think I might keep, but out of my collection for a do video. I used to buy these because I kept seeing these on other girls on YouTube and it looked gorgeous on them, but on me it was pretty orangey, but it's a dupe for a MAC lipstick, so I'm gonna keep it for that. Same thing for this one, which is Pink Blush, which I used to like, but again, pretty uh, mint tone pink, so I think I'm just gonna re-own these because I've had them for a while. More lipsticks. I really, really love these Sephora uh, cream lip stains. Everybody needs to Try these, they're absolutely awesome. I don't really love, I don't really like these uh, MUA uh, lipsticks, but this is the only color I have, which is Reckless. I did have half the video on it. And the formula isn't super good, so I probably shouldn't keep it. Let me know, this one you can vote. I think I'm gonna get rid of it, even though it might be a dupe for other uh, more expensive one, but the problem is that the quality isn't that great, so I don't think I can really recommend it. These Aromi uh, liquid lipsticks are fantastic if you don't own them. I only have two, I need to buy some more. I have Toasted Almond, and these are taupe and they're fantastic. Some Sephora uh, matte, luster matte lipsticks, which aren't matte at all, they're like uh, long wearing lip glosses. Some of the Dose of Color liquid lipsticks, which I need to do a lip swatch video on. Some of the Kevon D lipsticks, because they're awesome, although pretty drying. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the rest. As for my lip planners, I don't think I have that, of, that much of an unreasonable amount considering the amount of uh, lipsticks or lip product in general I have. So I'm gonna keep them, but I'll definitely try to maybe try to find some dupes or something. But yeah, I don't buy a lot anymore, but yeah, I don't need more. <laughs> Do they still sell those? Those are the Wet n Wild Fergie uh, lipsticks, which I really, really like. And I think the only one I would get rid of, not this one, this one is awesome. Um, where is it? It's this one, which one is uh, Divinely Chilled, which again, very job well you're gonna be able to see but there's like a lot of glitter in there so I don't reach for this one. This is my MAC lipstick collection and my NARS one which I'm not gonna get rid of any because I'm doing a lip swatch video really soon on the MAC one and 
the more I swatch, the more helpful it is, right? So I'm gonna keep them. I think there's only one or two colors I would get rid of anyways. There's not really a point for me to get rid of any right now. So you know how I said I had some lipstick at home? I did uh, try and bring as many as I could, but I'm just gonna grab in there the ones that I'm not keeping. So although I don't dislike the e.l.f. Uh, moisturizing lipstick, I don't really love the newer colors. I feel like the formula is more sheer, so I'm gonna get rid of them because I don't reach for them. The only one I'm gonna keep from e.l.f. are their uh, matte lip colors because those are absolutely awesome. They're like matte lipstick without being overly dry, so I do recommend these. Moisturizing, moisturizing lipstick, I would only recommend if you don't mind uh, sheer lipsticks and reapplying and stuff like that, but the scent is just too much to me. They're like very, very, very sweet, so. I have a really, really old Revlon lipstick. I'm gonna trash this because I won't reach for it. It's way too old. I do like the e.l.f. ones and the Buxom ones are awesome. I have a lot of the Tarte ones, which I like, but I don't reach for all of them. So I'm gonna keep like the color I prefer and the rest I'm just gonna have to offer them to friends. Totally keeping the Maybelline Color Blur because they're awesome. I'm gonna get rid of these uh, NYX brown uh, lipstick because I don't reach for them. They're extremely creamy and pigmented, but it makes me look like the Joker, like this color especially. I don't remember the name, what was it? Chaos. Chaos is fantastic, but it makes me look like the Joker within 15 minutes, so I'm gonna pass these one along or just trash them. These real uh, liquid lipstick, I have a love-hate relationship with them because I don't like the moisturizing part, but you kind of don't have a choice. I'm gonna keep this one, which is my favorite, which is Kiss Me You Fool, and I'm gonna pass the other ones to friends. First part, I have 60 lipsticks that I'm either giving to friends or trashing, so my goal was 50 at least, so at least that one is already done, and we're gonna go and see if I can get up to 100. Okay, so this drawer is somewhat organized. I have a lot of lip swatches that I need to do with the NYX ones. I don't think that's a, a big news that I love NYX products, especially your lipsticks. I am planning on redoing for example, a lip swatch video on all the matte lipsticks, so that's why I have all of them. Yeah, same thing for the extreme uh, intense butter glosses, etc. So I'm keeping those. I love the NYX butter glosses. They're some of the only lips, uh, lip glosses that I like. The only thing I think I would get rid of would probably be some of the shades of the butter lipsticks, which... But I'm super confused. What happened with these? I feel like they have still some, but they don't have any of the original colors. Okay, second drawer. Uh, I have some lip swatches, more, more lip swatches I need to do. I really, really like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, and although I probably don't need all the colors, I did do a full lip swatch video, by the way. There's 34 lip colors, and I'll link that down below. But again, they're fantastic, and I could find quite a few dupes in there for other liquid lipstick, although the formula might be different, but I still feel like I should keep them. I really enjoy them. I wear them all the time. Um, more recently, there was the MAC liquid lipsticks. I don't have the newer colors, but I have those that I have purchased. I'm going to keep them because I might be able to find some dupes for them. Some that I haven't swatched yet, I have the NYX uh, Full Trap lipstick, which are fantastic. I need to get around to swatching them. I recently got Sandy uh, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, which if you want to see a video, let me know because I could totally do that. I probably want to do it before the Christmas time, so if you want to buy yourself a lipstick or if you want to offer someone a lipstick, you will be able to at least see what they look like. I haven't swatched yet the LA Girl matte lipstick that's coming up. Actually, this should be in my uh, giveaway drawer. Those are the Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipsticks, which this is the old packaging, but at the end of the day, who cares? They're fantastic lipsticks, and I have the new packaging, and those ones are unused, so they will be going in my giveaway drawer and keep an eye out because there's gonna be a giveaway before Christmas so there's all these shades that are gonna be in there some of my favorite ones by the way let me show some colors so you can see they're fantastic I love uh, blackmail it's fantastic like those are gorgeous colors so yeah these are gonna be in my giveaway drawer this is where I need to get rid of some colors because I don't need to keep all of them slash it will help me organize them because this drawer is pretty much the messiest one I I think I'm gonna pass these one along. I really, really like the e.l.f. Um, lip glosses, but I don't reach for lip glosses that often anymore, and those are unopened, so I think I could just make someone really happy with them. They're really, really affordable. I think they're a dollar, 
and they're really fantastic so yeah i don't really love the benefit benetint i don't reach for these type of lip product anymore i know a lot of people like having just a little bit of color on the lips so if you do like that this is fantastic but i just don't reach for it ever so there's no point for me to keep it you might remember those uh, revlon lipstick those are the revlon color burst lipstick for example this one is the color coral which they used to be popular, I don't even know why uh, Revlon discontinued those because they were some of my favorite uh, lipstick from drugstore. So they haven't been sold in a couple of years, so I don't need to keep them. I just remembered that with the quantity of lipstick that I have, there's a point for me to keep lipsticks that aren't sold anymore, that especially if I don't reach for them very often because I might as well test other lipsticks because there's constantly more colors coming out and I need to test them. So there's just no point. I might as well make someone happy with them. Oops. I'm gonna ask friends and family if they want to keep one of them. Actually, I know my sister wants this one. This one was my backup of uh, Soft Nude. If you remember, this was the best like uh, nude lipstick back in the day. So I'm gonna let my sister have that one. And I'm gonna ask if anyone else wants the other color, but there's no point for me to keep them. I'm officially giving up on the uh, Revlon uh, butter lipstick, whatever they were called, lip butters, which I bought so many colors when they first came out because everybody was raving about them and I ended up hating them, like hating them. Like creme brulee looked horrible on me. So uh, there was no point for me to keep them. The only color I really, really want to keep is lollipop because that one is really, really awesome. Let me show you. This one I wore quite a bit. But I don't reach for them anymore, so I'm just going to keep my favorite one and I'm going to uh, give the other ones to friends and family. I don't know if NYX still make these uh, black label lipsticks, but the colors that I have, I don't love, so I don't really need to keep them. This one was NYX uh, India, which Shannon, Shannon So was raving about, and it looks absolutely horrible on me. I think she's probably the only human being that can pull off this color, so I'm not going to keep this one. Uh, the nude one, same thing, it's too brown for my taste, I'm going to see if someone else wants it. This one was the color uh, Ruby, which is gorgeous, but... It's too creamy. I prefer my uh, darker lipstick to not be too creamy, otherwise they just end up making me look like the Joker. So again, I'm gonna let... I'm gonna see if someone else wants this. This is the old uh, writing of the uh, CoverGirl lipstick, so I'm gonna pass this one along and I'm gonna keep the newer one. This one is an untouched one, actually. I don't think it has been... Yeah, it hasn't even been touched, so I'm gonna put that in my giveaway pile because those lipsticks, especially this color, Divine Wine, is awesome. Okay. This one I just need to buy the bullet and just get rid of these. These are the NYX uh, Mega Shine Lip Glosses. I used to love these. Some of my favorite colors were um, beige. Is that beige? No, this is new pink. Where is it? There was two colors I really liked. It was uh, Tarte, Sweet Tarte, and Beige which I haven't worn in a really long time, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. I just don't reach for them, and I'm not a huge fan of glue glosses, so I'm either gonna ask friends if they want them or just trash them. They smell really strongly of like cherry, sweet cherry, and I just can't deal. And then there's like those like Costco uh, liquid lipstick or lip glosses, which I have pretty bad memory attached to them, so I'm just gonna trash them. Rinky lip glosses, they're pretty awesome colors, like really frosty, like with um, glitter in them, and even though I said I don't love lipstick with glitter, I like lip glosses with glitter, if that makes sense, so I'm gonna keep those. Um, I have so many, I probably should get rid of some, but for now I think I'm gonna keep them. Those are the Revlon uh, Matte Balm or the, the Shine ones, which I believe are still sold, I'm pretty sure. The matte ones are probably my uh, the only lipstick I would recommend from uh, Revlon. The matte balms are fantastic, they're super pigmented. They're great, so if you look at these, I recommend them. The shine ones and the uh, balm ones are okay, but if you have pigmented lips like me, you don't need all the colors. They will end up pretty much looking the same thing on your lips, but I'm gonna keep them because I haven't done a lip swatch video, so if you are interested, I might do one. And I'm keeping some of the colors of the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint. I'm keeping this one because this one is pretty infamous, if you don't know. I'll link the video down below, but when I did do a lip swatch video, this one was uh, called Metallic Poop because it's pretty much the only lipstick I could never pull off. It just looks absolutely horrendous on me. I think I've only seen one person being able to pull it off. This is just very difficult to pull off. But I don't need all the colors, so I don't mind the formula, by the way, but the scent gets to me. It kind of wants to be minty, but it has like a plasticky taste, so it's a bit much for me, so I don't need to keep all the colors. I'm going to keep my favorite ones, though. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these four colors for now. I think those are my favorite ones. I really like the deep ones. You can use them as stain and that is fantastic. And those are pretty much just long wearing uh, lip glosses. So I'm gonna keep those. So this is 48 other lip products that I'm getting rid of. So I am now at 108. So 
Yay, we did it. I got rid of over 100 lip product, which is crazy, but it's gonna help my collection. I'm gonna finally be able to organize it a little bit better. So I can finally do my makeup collection eventually. So that was intense. I got rid of over 100 lip products, which I'm really, really proud of myself. I think I might still go through my collection again before I film my makeup collection video and might uh, get rid of a few more things. But overall, I'm really happy I achieved my goals, which is all that matters. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link down below uh, my playlist for all of the cluttering videos that I've done, so I'm hoping you will be able to enjoy those too. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't miss any future videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.